towards middle. Naomi's locking that down the walls there as well. And if you go towards B, guess what? You've also got Panini, or excuse me, Rise there. Now she is going to have to back up a little bit to stay alive, but it's not easy. It's not effortless. Lori's already dropped as Naomi gets the first kill in the series. Oh. Flower Pole really needed to win that, that duel there. Oh man, all five members of CLG, they're starting to pinch, they're starting to retake. The S-Star ladies are falling left and right and... Ooh. Oh, it not hot at least. Ooh, left. that sound cue. Chobo absolutely heard that heal coming through and... A little powwow, a little delay from SR, but this should be an easy cleanup. Bonita, is she gonna crater? Oh my... That scared me. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot. They shouldn't just give away- wait! Whoa. Oh my. Potter, CLG have made their intentions very clear. They're gonna have one speed, one pace at which they play this, and it's gonna be go. They took all of B, they took all of mid, and they were poised to set Whoa. something up from the attacker spawn, but they all had to rotate back. So now, Shopify Rebellion have gotten onto the site, they've gotten the spike down. It's gonna be a retake attempt from defender spawn which is not nearly as flashy, not nearly as spicy as it could be otherwise, and you're seeing some of that pay off. Bonita has to go big here. One enemy remaining. Lori looking for a little bit more. It's just down to rise. Now, there are three of the four members of Shopify Rebellion are very weak. So it's difficult, but slightly doable. But their post plans are just too good here, Potter. Too good. No, you able to land anything. You love, look at, the, I mean, the wall usage, the verticality to her play there, that was pretty. Didn't net, but it was still fun to look at. Benita with clean shots onto KP. Oh, she drops, Lori, good for two. And the spike's still down. So they have to, they have to aggress, they have to disrupt some of the defensive positioning that CLG have before they move forward with the spike. Now you see that Flowerful's rotated over, she's got the spike, but... At this point, it's a 2v3. Ori does have the showstopper, though. So there's a chance. Magic. Oh, Whoa. Claudia! Oh. <laughs> Going in for no. more. She's good. Oh, man. I think the communication probably came through that Flowerful is low as well. and Set up to deny entry into the back of A. But if, again, if you're not getting into 410, it's not going to matter. Lori going in aggressively with the showstopper. Drops, but not without taking Claudia with her. And that's at least something. At least maybe now KP can put some clever wall, just cut off this gen completely. Plant the spike. Oh, and the res comes through, but Bonita! Bonita's in a great spot. Bonita gets the second one as well, and she's going to dismiss away. That Empress is so difficult to deal with, but there was nowhere else for her to go. Now Ryze is going to be rotating over. In a 1v2, you see Flowerful and KP have both backed off. This time, at least Rise, she's got her E. She's got the Viper Wall to help yep. her out. She's going to try to recharge it at least a little bit. Ooh, swatting across the ropes. Oh and she finds this kill on KP. Oh, the rope, the movement. Oh, this is going to be big. <laughs> it's going to be big. A couple kills traded. Claudia from up top gets the second one as well. Rise gets in on it. Spike is down. And it's, on, it's in no man's land right now, Potter. Viper switching back to A is, man, that's huge. The Q orb, it just takes up so much space. Panini is good for one, though. She's making this interesting. She's got a full minute on the clock here, Doug. She could really cause some damage, Oof. create some havoc, and... Oh, Rise is good though. for it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's some B pressure this time around. Benita's seeing some action. A little bit of jibble. Oh. Oh, that's a shot. Good night. Panini played with fire one time too many. She gave, she gave that jump peek like, what, four or five times? <laughs> and it was just enough for Benita to land that shot. They're going to have to go be here again because of the Viper's Pit. There's no real entry towards that site. Benita feeling some of that pressure. Backs up with the op. Arrow miss the second time around. Oh, Flowerful's lurk is huge. And the fact that Benita goes down... Somehow, SR making it into these sites, this time switching it up, going to B. Claudia's already so low. No armor to her knee. <gasps> Naomi goes down as well. That was the Hunter's Fury. What an adaptation from Shopify Rebellion off of A, and they were like full sprinting back towards B. It not Han. Looks like she's going to be able to get away with murder back there. She still is undetected. Everyone is pulling back towards A. The spike does go down. 
You've got Rise watching the for Claudia with the op again. Good oh for another God. one. Is it now? Hans coming back. She's got the blade storm. She's got the vandal, and she's got a flank. Two have already dropped. Rise is left alone in a one v four. Wrap that bad boy up. Shopify rebellion get off. And Potter, you mentioned it earlier. If Rise is able to at least peek the turret and make them respect that a bit, you maybe have some room to work with. But that just hasn't been the case. Benita. Oh. Benita cheeky. Benita good for it. And she's going to dismiss out the Blade Storms offline. Yes, yeah, she took out Claudia, but that's no longer a concern. The Empress has been used as well. It's Chobo. Swing around. They're going to back up. And look, Shopify Rebellion is doing the same. There's been no real estate gather on the other side as well. No B-Long was taken. No mid was taken. It wasn't. And, you know, this Killjoy ult, it should come into play eventually. And here we go. They're going to fake the mid split, and they're going back to A. This is where the Killjoy ult should come up to play, but Bonita, this is going to be everything. Depending on how many frags she's able Whoa! to get, there's two. Down a. Oh and my there's, god. And there's the lockdown. You're right, there's the lockdown, so now it's going to come through. But that's the thing, is at this point, it did not go the way it intended. She should have had the spike down at this point, but she got ab- the, I mean, Shop Fire Building got mowed down by Bonita in a great spot. She took space away. Flowerful had to go big there. What? All the way up be long. Rise may get in on a little bit of action, but Benita just keeps holding W, just keeps clicking. Here. Oh man, Benita is in such a prime spot right now. Claudia just breaks this turret, cuts noise, and watches for this re-aggression. There it is, perfectly done. And it not Han, she's gotta book it. Oh, but she doesn't make it, Doug. You now keep in mind again, Benita on the flank. Bonita spots KP. Bonita cleans him up. Oh no, excuse me, it was Rise, but the comms there were perfect. She swings out at the exact same time to leave Panini on alone for Shop or Fire Rebellion. So CLG should take this pistol. And we feel the fact that a 7 5 lead. And the nade comes through as well. The wall up. So they've been able, they've done an excellent job so far at denying the aggression. And now Lori. They have a clean one up as well. KP on the flank. Filthy shots. That's what, that's what I was saying in the first half, Potter. You can get up to 410, not make it past 410, and you might as well have not left your your spawn. You're not any closer to getting the spike down. Yeah, this elbow 410 area is very tricky. KP with a beautiful shot. But, oh, she takes a lot of damage. Whoa! Oh, She's all alone whoa. all of a sudden. Oh! <gasps> What has happened? What the? Flowerful. Okay, so Flowerful has a Vandal, and she has a Nano Swarm and a turret as well. So she's got some util. But the problem is, <laughs> take a look at the post plant util. Naomi has two shock darts, not one, but two. Rise also has a snake bite. So you've got those lineups, you've got those post plants. And then you also have Chobo, who's playing down in hell, making serious problems. For Flowerful, she's able to swing out, and if you can isolate these gunfights, maybe... All the timing. They may pull back. <gasps> they are going to pull back. Oh! So now at this point, you've lost your flank, but you've picked up another kill along the way. You've only got 46 seconds left, so you're running out of time. You're running out of options. It looks like CLG are going to commit on to B. The kill on to KP certainly helps, but Rise is weak. Chobo is as well. Certainly not oh. out of the woodworks. Chobo! In on Han, just narrowly missing that shot. 30 seconds left. Has the op. Not able to land the second one as well. What a shot from Chobo. And they're going to bring the res online with 20 seconds left. Numbers advantage goes back the way, but Rise comes back instantly from where she came from. Now Panini's left alone. She's got the Viper's Pit. Spike still hasn't been planted, and I don't. It's just on the other side of the Viper's Pit. Oh! Smoke, she was there. She had it. Off of an advantage. You see a world where Rise can work her way up. No, but the rest of the team's following as well. The wall's gonna go up. The lockdown's gonna follow. Claudia drops. Benita does as well. Excellent hold from Shop of Fire Belly early on. CLG have to rethink this. Dude, at least Fries is able to get that frag. They can just wait out this KJ ult. Oh, two get detained. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. It's just gonna slow things down, but... Either way, I mean, Viper's Pit, if they somehow... Uh, get into this B site, get the spike down, put the Viper ult down. It's 3v5, but man, it, it, it can really turn around quick. 
Now, the one benefit... Okay, so that's going to give out info. Now they know where they are. You see that the once that res comes through, you started to see some of the members of Shopify Rebellion rotate back towards B, and they're still working their way back. They're going to slip back into A, and it's just going to be... Powerful that's here. KP with a big kill on the Benita. You know exactly where it's going. Here comes the Viper's Pit that we talked about. Chobo. Chobo's going to have contact. Chobo's good for one on Lori. And the heal's going to come through. The spike's going to go down. And here we go. Viper's Pit's going to be everything. No, the Viper's Pit. That was it. That was their ticket. Manini gets a big kill. It's just down on the Naomi and Chobo. And Chobo's already dropped. Naomi's going to follow shortly thereafter. The bleeding is stopped at Shopify Rebellion. Get one on the board. Oh boy, and they really, really cruel that they had. We're starting to certainly starting to see it bleed out a bit. And it's because the rounds have been so close. Yeah, they're winning all of them, but it's not without having to pay something for it. There it is. The aggression comes oh. through. It's two kills are traded. It not Han gets both. Anita going in aggressive. The Lear's buying so much space. They're past 410. They're back into the back of the site. It's going to be a three-on-three -three retake for Shopify Rebellion. That dismiss timing was beautiful stuff Ooh. from Benita. Oh, and the fact that she gets one more, but she's quickly oh, traded out. Waiting. It's not Han is going to find Naomi. It's all down to Rise. She's got one more Molotov to her name. Oh, that kill would have been huge for her, but it's going to buy a little bit of time. She has to be patient. Wait things out. Oh. Good for one, but it not Han gets the fourth on the round. Gonna get the defuse as well to take Shopify Rebellion up to nine. So close, so close here. Shopify Rebellion, that's exactly what they and the Viper's Pits offline. So now they, they have him. Oh, Claudia was there. You called it. The flank was there. It blew it up. Now it's just on it. Nahan. Nahan has a blade sword, oh, but Lear no. was a bit late, but the blades don't land. Claudia cleans that kill up as well. They're able to get onto A for free. And Claudia gets a third. Holy. Claudia just single-handedly winning this round out for Shopify Rebellion. There's a double flank going on, but look at Rai. She's got her teammate and Naomi right here with a lot of map control there. A lot of impact. Beautiful stuff. And huge love to the observers for coming through. Panini took so much damage there. She's unable to get in a position to delay the plant with her kit. And Claudia is just playing so forward right now. Got the Vandal in her hands. Oh, she misses, though. Bulldog taking care of business. As you see, Shopify Rebellion slowly start to creep their way forward to try to take the site back. Chobo, that's a big kill. She's got the res as well. You hear the Empress coming online as Naomi's getting in on the action. Bonita through the smoke gets another one as KP trades it out onto Chobo. Why is the spike continuing to tip away? Panini has to go in aggressive. She manages to get one on her eyes. The understanding that Naomi's there as well. KP starting to stick the defuse. The Hunter Fury's going to come out as Benita goes in aggressively. Whoa. Naomi gets cleaned up. The kill comes through. No more chance at the defuse. What? And Benita gets the last one. <laughs> Back towards defender spawn. The only place you get vision is coming in through screens, just like Panini's able to do. Here, Benita got one onto Flower Full. It got traded out. Claudia made her way back into the belly of the beast the elbow the overwhelming presence of clg there was just way too much for shopify rebellion they have to give up the site and claudia the updraft that sound cue it should have been given but that's such oh. a beautiful shot on han at least han does <gasps> do some decent damage but chobo she's so quick it's just all down to kp she's got plenty of health but one versus four the one bird that she has tries to be clever with it but clg not they're not going to give her anything here nah man that was beautiful from chobo and the funny thing is like you touched on that right it needed to be on chobo on that fight throws that bad boy in reverse back it on the way up manages to land the kill anyway and of course as i'm giving her a little bit of love a little bit of gas she does drop kp was good for a second one as well but the pistol certainly going in favor of, of clg and it was a cini KP going doggy style, not getting anything going quite yet. An excellent flash. It should be a ton of info, but there's no swing on it. Spike goes down. They have such a good setup, Potter. They have such a good setup. Two on that high low right there and the rolling thunder. They're fully investing into it. The flash comes out from KP, but need to dancing around the pillar. Spot's powerful. Gonna land the shots. Oh, this oh my gosh, Lori. Oh. Lori, that was gross. Oh, Lori looking for the Lori! second. And Phantom Itch, she gets a third. 
Claudia trades it out, but the damage has been done. Claudia's good for a second one as well. She's swinging around looking for blood. She smells it in the water. They're running for the fence. It oh, boy. becomes a pop flash. The oh, pop flash. No! oh, no! <laughs> Claudia swings at just the right time. The judge that we so <laughs> highly built up. Not going to be a factor. Claudia takes so much space away. Gets deep into the defender spot. Spots all three of them jumping into heaven. They know exactly where they are. Benita's going to get the spike down. You see Ryze is showing up for help. Claudia. Oh, Claudia gets punished by the sheriff. Ryze has to back up. Good flash. Good swing. But a better trade by it, not Han. However, both of them drop. Lori and Flower will follow shortly thereafter. CLG gets a four. Now, but at the, as I say that, CLG is running it down. Chobo going in. With her rocket and oh, even though Flowerful gets a kill, the rocket should be coming her way soon. Oh, Claudia, good for one with the Blade Storm. The aggression, the denial of space, and the kills to follow up. Claudia, good with three. No presence across ropes. No presence up across the middle of the map. So they have at least that much info gathered. Yeah, and you know, the timing of KP Seekers there is probably more detrimental than anything Ooh. else. <gasps> okay, she no. does get the one, but the dash from Claudia is so quick, and she's even rewarded with another. That should be the B site falling, unless Omen can make some hero plays happen. What the heck? That was so fast. They're going to rotate off the site. They, they also drew out the lockout, the lockdown, excuse me, from Flowerful. All of the ultimates that they started off with are just down to one now for Midnight Han, and she's not around. Numbers advantage, however, for the first time in a little while in favor of Shopify Rebellion. The clock is also not CLG's friend. They've got to get onto the site. They've got to get the spike down. KP good for one. Defender spawn. Util invested that way. Benita should be able to get the spike down. And Shopify Rebellion, they don't really have the util to make this retake work in their favor. Chobo finds another, just quickly wow. repositions, finds a second, and it's just all down to Panini. At this point, she's going to tuck tail, maybe find an exit, but the round is lost. Silence. There's one exit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's not a whole lot else you can do here. I think... Maybe a little bit of insult added on to injury is that Ryze is going to be able to take, although she has died, um, this Viper's Pit into the next round as well. If that had been dicey, if that had been a bit more competitive. Okay. She's getting a if lot that had been done. a bit more com yeah. All on her lonesome. Bo, one. Oh. Not able to get much more. A good bit of damage that felt like was dealt. Actually, no, it, it wasn't nearly as much as it looked like. But they're going to be able to get onto the site. CLG is Lori's going to get the res, and that should be very safe. So Claudia gets the spike down. The Blade Storm is in her back pocket as well. Great Cloud Burst to deny some info. Nice shots onto Cho from Chobo as well onto Flowerful to clean her up. And the thing is, Shopify Rebellion don't have much else to work with. They don't have ultimates. They don't have teammates. They don't have help. Because Naomi's been able to lock this down. It's just on to KP, and KP gets cleaned up his side. Oh my gosh. Going all the way in. Yeah, probably in part to the Nano Swarms, but Chobo is just taking so much space away, and the Viper is coming out as well. Look at how Naomi's waiting on the flank. Yep, Naomi good for one. She knows exactly where they are. The Trailblazer does connect, though. They're going to swing out with it. Naomi's not able to clean that up. Oh. Han gets on to rise as well. Now Benita's going hunting. The flash there didn't matter. And Benita has more CC to work with. It not Han on the other side. She wins that duel. Leaves it in a 1v2. Both Chobo and Claudia slightly weak. There's no high-low stack set up. They're going to put the wall up, and the swing's at just the right time. Claudia good for three. Ten to one. They're, they're running out of time here. Fast. Potter, that time is is probably probably gone uh, at this point. That's certainly going to help, though, as Claudia and Benita are both offline for the rest of the round. Yeah, Lori got dropped as well, so the showstopper's not going to be brought into the fold. But this is important because we haven't seen many moments where Shopify Rebellion has gotten these early picks so far. Run the shadows. Clearing out the middle of the map. Oh, Great no! swing by Chobo. My goodness, gets a second. KP trades it out. Numbers advantage. Still in favor of Shop Fire Belly, at least for now. Rises. Okay. Excellent timing and lands the shots onto KP. Equalize things to a 2v2. They've gotten onto the site. They should be able to get the spike down. The one thing here is that Flowerful has 
the lockdown. So you can, so you can certainly pin them back on that site depending on where Rise plays, but Rise has already worked her way up ramp. Oh, this patiently. stool is everything, Doug. Oh, the, ti oh, the Wait. timing! Oh my god! The timing! Manini's good for it. There's a lockdown that I was mentioning, so now... Oh, it's not deep enough! It's not deep enough, Naomi! We can sit back just behind it! And she's not... You're, you're waiting for the lockdown to go off there, but Naomi lands the shots! Oh. Naomi looking for the second! No, Flowerful wins that duel! Mail. And the dog for info. Flash, the blast pack, the excellent counter flash like you mentioned. Breach was there for help, and actually, it's Benita that does drop at the hands of Panini. Rise is going to fall as well as three members of CLG have met their demise. Only Chobo and Naomi remain. Finally, some frags and trades going in the favor of Shopify Rebellion. And although Lori goes down, I mean, it's 4v2. This should be easy peasy for Shopify Rebellion, but I mean, as I say that, I'm even getting nervous myself because these rounds that should have been easy have been a bit of a struggle, and even killing the uh. turret is a struggle! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jobo, with one health left, oh, surely not. I, I mean, in a 1v3, she literally has one HP, and she's got to get to the spike. They're all going to swing at the same. This was one. From CLG of Shopify Rebellion want a chance at this oh. thing. It's got to happen here. Excellent flash. Oh my gosh. Almost didn't get one. Manages to get the second as well. It was close. It wasn't pretty. But I guess it doesn't have to be if it pays off like that. Rise is dropped. However, Shopify Rebellion blasts onto the back of A. They're going to be able to get the spike down. It's going to be a retake attempt from CLG. Retake attempt. There's not a single ult in play coming in. I love that, that the gimmicky play that we just witnessed from Claudia and Benita towards the B halls, but this is going to be a three v three v take. Lori still has the paint shells. Oh, beautiful Ooh. flash, but uh, she just doesn't get anyone. KP alone. KP messed up. The bonus isn't one, and and you know we were talking about how this will play out in, because of the deficit that they're in, and because of of split, really. You win the nothing on the flash. Uh oh. Claudia. Oh! Big kill from Lori. The seat. The jellies are going to come out as well. You hear the ult from Panini. He's gotten onto the back of the site. So they've they've conceded A. Right. Stop fire rebellion. Have full control. Again, CLG is going to fight for the retake. And this is. Probably the most advantageous round we've seen Shopify Rebellion in. Flowerful is good for the one. And Lori's in the prime spot. The timing of that flash as well encourages her to take that peek. Finds the one. And Naomi and Benita at this point. What a okay, shot. Okay, that's okay. She's using her ult. Oh. They're going in. I mean, this could be Charlotte that breaks the camel's back, <laughs> but the flash is so good. The flash is so, so good. Out of shop, fire belly, and they're, they're three, three. Hey, look at this mid-round aggression. Look at the yep. CLG. They push. Yep. They know this A hit is coming. Mm -hmm. Should stop her coming oh. up from Lori. <gasps> Chobo! Chobo manages to get the kill. Yeah, gets traded out, but that's big. Because now there's no presence there. Lori's going to come out with the swing. Han with a great kill. On to rise. Naomi's going to drop as well as Han puts a team on her back. Oh my have some sort of a bluff, make CLG not all be stacked towards A, but Killjoy, all util still in play. Chobo's in a great spot too. Because you, you have to check the 50. You have to check the 50! Chobo's good for it. On to Han, the swing, the swing! Oh, the timing was just so bad, but hopefully with a bit of damage, they can make something happen. Flowerful cleans up Anita Naomi. Naomi, good for it, and the spike drops. That's a big kill. Op in the hands of Claudia, too. Flowerful trades it out. Here comes Claudia. There's the op. There's the shot. The spike drops again. It's Panini who's going to have to get through both of them with 10 seconds left. Pick up the spike and get it planted with bullets flying. Follow up, but now they know. They know. Oh, they know Claudia just narrowly misses. There's the paranoia. The blast pack comes through. As Lori gets onto the back of the site, Lori not able to land the shots the first time, but she does the second time around. Claudia stays alive with just a sliver of health. They've made their way onto the site. There's no flank. And because of how they played, they look at Chobo. Chobo, she has to respect the flank. Rise drops. 
Audio with the op not going to connect onto it either. That should give Shot Fire Billion a lot of breathing room to plant the spike. Panini's going to get it down. Chobo's left alone in a 1v5, and they know exactly where she is as well. Shopify Rebellion, they just refuse to go away, Potter. They do refuse. That's a beautiful shot from Chobo. Oh, that... Claudia dashing away, having to respect the potential of an op. Panini on the swing, Claudia punishes. Han trades it out. The res is in play here, Doug. Chobo knows Almost. it. Hold on to the nade? Oh. <laughs> We've also got dueling lockdowns. And Chobo one point away. There's the res. Like you said, Chobo one point away from having a showstopper online. Rise drops. See the ult coming through as well from Panini, trying to get back towards A. Understand that there's nobody there. The Nano Swarm gets cleaned up. Panini with eight health, fortunately too. That that Nano Swarm goes off and she's dead. The alarm bot's gonna give off position on Lori too. The spike is gonna get planted. A Chobo. Oh, this flank. If the alarm bot is there, which the KJ has been placing it, it is there. So oh, the uh, timing that could have been insane. Shopify Rebellion find themselves again in an excellent situation in a 1v5. To hold on to that nade. That's where the next fight would happen, is in that mid area. But just small, small things are kind of snowballing out of control here. Shopify Rebellion, they... It's not going to look pretty for Flowerful here. Oh my gosh, they're both there now. Han's creeping up as well. You should oh, no. oh! There it is! There it is! Whoa! The swing! Claudia's gotten two. Understands there's a third as well! Farful trades it out. Flash. Benita looking for some action. Benita gets it! The lockdown goes down as well! And the flash shows up! She's gonna get the kill on Lori! Oh, it's just down to Panini! And Panini drops 